I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. 100 years later, the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. 100 years later, the Negro is still languid in the corners of American society, finds himself in exile in his own land. So we've come here today, dramatized the shameful condition. Instead of honoring this sacred obligation, America has given the Negro people a bad check. So we've come to cash this check, a check that will give us upon demand the riches of freedom and the security of justice. Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now is the time to make justice a reality for all of God's children. We must make the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back. There are those who ask, when will you be satisfied? We can never be satisfied as long as the Negro is the victim of the unspeakable horrors of police brutality. We can never be satisfied as long as the Negro's basic mobility is from a smaller ghetto to a larger one. No, we are not satisfied and we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. Because I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today.